What are all the different floods and areas that you look at for North America for evidence of this cataclysmic event? One of the things I would like to open people's eyes to is that we started out looking like at the Pacific Northwest. You mentioned flood peak discharges up there 700 million cubic feet per second. The effects of a flow like that magnitude are just spectacular. And even to the untrained eye, it's obvious that something extraordinary happened. When you, you don't have a flow of you know millions of cubic feet per second that doesn't leave obvious evidence in the landscape. Here's the Laurentide, which was the big one, which is actually larger than the Antarctic ice sheet that now covers the South Pole. And talking about what can cause mega floods, so if you can picture you've got these shallow shelves around the continents which are probably going to be the prime habitable real estate during the late glacial maximum along the coastlines because the proximity of the ocean is going to help to ameliorate the weather extremes that we know are documented along with the ice ages that would have been at least 600 feet in its run-up height. So what does it do first? It will start depositing the larger sediment that it's carrying, the boulders, the rocks, the gravel, and as it continues to slow down, the, the sediment deposition will get finer and finer. And that's why at the end here you have a lot of sand. 